most of the people just know extra aircraft of aerobatic competition or of uh, air shows. But what they don't see is how these aircrafts are built. My name is Markus Extra, I'm the head of production here in Dienstlagen at the Extra Factory and today I'm going to take you for a quick tour through the factory. We start with the design, with the first ideas and then you see the raw materials and how we end up with the finished product. So we are now in the engineering department, it's a EASA 21J a design organization and this is where the magic begins. So over here you can see the construction of the extra NG, so all the drawings, all the ideas happen right here. But now we want to see how the aircraft is produced. So first we want to go to the carbon fiber shop. We are now in the pre-break carbon fiber shop where we produce parts like this. So how we produce these parts I will show you now. Let's go. So the whole process starts with the pre prep carbon fiber, as you can see here. So this is already a little bit sticky. This is the resin already inside of the carbon fiber. We store these carbon fiber in this huge cool cooling houses, like here. Um, the reason behind this is if the carbon fiber stays cooled, uh, it just lasts longer. So the resin would react when you put uh, heat or pressure on it and then the material would get hard. So next then is that we put the carbon fiber. Uh, it comes on rolls like this. So we put these carbon fiber rolls onto this machine where the carbon fiber now gets cut. So for every mold we have 3D data. So the machine already knows how to cut the carbon fiber for each mold. So you will see this here. And of course, to reduce material, uh, a nesting happens where the machine already knows how to cut the material that uh, yeah, you can use as much of the material uh, as possible. After the cutting, we put uh, each of the parts onto this table and uh, just uh, select the parts for every mold. And when this is done, we give each part to the workers over here and they put the carbon fiber mold, uh, the carbon fiber layers into the molds. So this is the next step I will show you next. So this is a carbon fiber mold here. The mold itself is also made out of carbon to have the same thermal expansion. So the layers of carbon fiber uh, will now be placed into this mold layer by layer. And when this is done, we put the whole mold into huge vacuum bags and next step is then to put it into the autoclave. So this mold is now already in the vacuum bag and you can already see that we applied vacuum and the whole bag now gets into the autoclave over there into this huge oven where we now apply a lot of, uh, of high temperature and of course a lot of, uh, a lot of high pressure to get the layers like pressed very tight to each other and this will give you a very high quality and very high stiffness of each part and of course this is very important for our aerobatic aircrafts because we want to have very strong materials and the other big advantage of carbon fiber is that it's extremely light so a very nice uh, material for us um, in aviation. So the extra NG is built completely out of carbon fiber. So we are now in our second carbon fiber shop where we produce wet molding carbon fiber parts. For, the, for example, this outer shell of the extra NG. So carbon fiber is a very fascinating material. So on the one hand, it's of course very light and on the other hand, it's enormous strong. So I'm, I'm not able to destroy this piece of carbon fiber here, even if this is just a very tiny piece. Uh, we also do the pre-assembly of the aircraft here, especially of the extra NG. We also produce uh, steel tube aircrafts like the SX, the LX, the SC or the LT. And how this metal structure is built, we are going to see in the next shop. So let's go to the metal guys. So we are now in the metal shop. As you can see, I already took place in a steel tube fuselage here. This is, this is going to be an SX and how these fuselages are produced, I will show you now. So it all starts in the metal shop with just a small piece of steel tube or a metal sheet. And uh, we put these uh, steel tubes onto these jigs. And as soon as all the tubes are perfectly adjusted to each other, we do a tech welding. And when the tech welding is done, we remove the whole frame and uh, finish the welding which I'm going to show you now. So when all the welding is done, now we need to put all the attachment points uh, onto the aircraft. This is what happens now. So let's have a close look how the fuselage looks then in the end. 
So this is now how a finished SX would look like. It's the same procedure as well for the LX and the LT. Here you can see all the attachment points are already uh, on uh, for where we can now put all the devices on. And uh, of course now this needs to look very nice. So for this aircraft, next step will be the paint shop. When the pre-assembly of every aircraft is finished, we want to make the aircraft just look beautiful. So we offer standard designs, but most of the people take custom designs. So next tip is, put the design onto the aircraft and then it's ready for the paint. So over here we put the design onto this wing. So as you can see, this is a custom design, so this is a one of a kind afterwards. And the special thing is, first we paint the first color and then the next color so they do not overlap each other. And we do this because of weight saving issues. So right now we are in the paint booth. As you can see, we already put on three colors onto this wheel fairing. We now let this dry and when this is done, we are going to give it the final polish and make it look perfect. So the paint is now dry. Next thing is that we're going to expect each part, for example, this uh, lower cowling over here, and of course, polish the part to make it look just perfect. We are now in the final assembly, so polish is done, and now the mechanics take over. So over here, you can see a fuselage and the wing that now gets final assembled. First thing is we put on all the electronics, like the avionics, and of course then each part get like attached to each other, so the wing meets the, uh, the fuselage, and of course in the end also the engine is applied to the fuselage, as you can see over there. And when the whole process is then finally done, then we take each aircraft for maiden flight here at the factory. And after the maiden flight, we bring it to the customer. So it depends where the customer lives. Uh, either we fly it there, or if we uh, want to bring it, for example, to the US, we disassemble the aircraft again, put it into a, a huge container and just ship it, like this aircraft, which is going to be in the US soon. And we produce 24 aircraft per year, so make sure yours are next.